what's going on guys welcome to the second part of firebase android integration tutorial and in this video we are going to have the first impression into the firebase console website and also we are going to just start our first android app inside the android studio so first off we have to go to the browser and from the browser you have to simply search for firebase and now as i have told in the previous video how to go to this firebase.google.com now make sure that you have login using your google username and password and once you're done you have to simply click on this go to console button over here and now you are officially inside the firebase console and now you have to click on this add project and that will bring up this small little window and how to give your android application a name so it's going to be a project name so i want to name it as firebase app and it will automatically generate this project id and in case if you want to change it then you can click on this pencil icon now you have to select your country in my case i'm proudly selecting it as india next i'm going to create the project okay now as you can see it automatically created everything for us and now we have the firebase app project and inside that we have these three buttons and we are going to select this one that is the add firebase to your android app so click on that and from this small pop-up window all you have to do is we have to give the package name for our android app the nickname and this is going to be the signing key so now we have to just move to the android studio so open the android studio and I'm going to start a new project. So start a new Android Studio project. Now I want to name my application as Firebase App. Okay, now I want to give the company name as techcetro.com itself. So finally, once you give one, then you will be finding the package name as app. And in case if you want, if you don't have any kind of website or something, then you can just leave it into example or something like that. If you, even you can give your name itself. Now, once you're done, click on this next. Now, click on the next again. And I'm going to choose the empty activity as it is a tutorial. Now, click on the next again. And in this page, finally click in this finish. Now, let's wait for the Gradle to complete the building process. Okay, now the Gradle completed. And now we have the Android Studio almost ready. Now, closing the tip. Now, we have the main activity, which I'm going to zoom a little bit. And now you can see here is the package name that is in my case it is actually com.texto.firebase app. Simply copying this, you can copy your own. Now let's minimize the Android Studio and go to this Firebase website again. Now you have to paste it here. Then give a nickname for your Android app. In my case, I just want to name it as Firebase app itself. Now finally we have to give the signing certificate, which is actually a better idea in case if you want to integrate the Google authentication into your Android app. And this is actually really recommended. So if you want to get the certificate ID or the certificate key, then you can simply find it inside the Android Studio. So go to the Android Studio and from the right side, you can see there is a button that is Gradle. Sometimes you may find that is nothing to show. Then click on this refresh button. And as you can see, now we have the Firebase app and inside that we have the Firebase app root folder. Just double click and open that and said that there will be a Android folder open that and there is the signing report so double click and that will bring up this small window so if you guys have this same setup or the same window like me then you may have to simply do a single thing that is going to press this one this button I don't know what it actually called but anyway this is a live server just click on that and that will bring up this window or what we said is this log and from that you can see here is that the SHA1 I don't know what it is actually anyway just copy this key and copy go back to the browser and right click paste it here now you can click on the register app wow now we have completed the first step and we are in the second step which is actually to copy the Google JSON file so just click on the download google service.json and now it is actually downloader right click so if you are in the google chrome you have to right click and offshore showing folder now you have to just cut it from here so cut it now go to the android studio and now we have to switch from the android view to the project view 
and now expand the Firebase or your root folder and inside that there will be a app folder in which you have to right click and click on the paste and now you don't have to change anything here simply click on this ok now that's it now once you're done you have to just go back to the website and what it is say is that click on the continue okay now we have successfully completed the two steps now we are in the third step which is actually we have to add the dependency or something like that the glass path inside the build.gradle so just copy this class path copy that and now I would say that you have to switch back into the Android view for the better understanding then go to the gradle script now we have the project level and module app level okay now you have to paste it inside the project level so this is the project level open that you have to paste it below this class path so paste it here and once you're done I just want to minimize these windows okay now let me zoom in okay now go to this module app or in the app level gradle file now go back to the website and copy the second one so as it said we have to paste it all the way down inside this file so that will be going to I guess it will be around over here so pasting it here okay now I, I hope it is actually here anyway let's give it a try so I want to click on this sync now let's see if we have any kind of errors so in case if you got any kind of errors then please let me know in the comment section below this video and I will try to answer each of your questions within the next 24 hours anyway now the gradle is building okay I guess that there is no any kind of errors okay so we have successfully added the first line of the firebase inside our android application and okay, now let's go back to the website again and as you can see we have completed all the steps so click on the finish and blam as you can see we have this project that is a firebase app and it's actually nothing over here and as you can see these are the things that we can able to use inside our android app using with the help of actually with the help of this firebase that is the analytics we have a lot of things that we could able to integrate we hope that we can able to discuss at least a few of them in the upcoming tutorials Yes, of course, there will be at least a few of them that we are going to discuss. And if you are going to discuss each and every one from this list, then it will be taking a little too much time. So that's it for this tutorial. And if you like this video, then give it a big thumbs up. As always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Peace out.